So, Filmora. To start off with, there are certain areas that you're going to need to know about. When you turn Filmora on, this is going to be your original screen. You can change it to look in different ways, but this is going to be how it shows up when you originally start Filmora. First thing you're going to want to do is bring stuff in that you can actually work with. So you're going to want to go to import. Here you can import video, audio, and images. This is going to take you into your computer file. And if you have external, it'll also take you into your external files. Let's take some videos. Go with, let's click this one. Now it's going to ask if you want to create a proxy file. Um, it's a more usable file. It'll become a uh, standard file after you're done. So let's grab this. So here, if you take your cursor and you go back and forth over a file, it will give you a preview of that file. If you hit the plus sign, it'll drop it down here. And this is your video file. This is your track. Over here, it's going to give you a preview of what it is you're, you're doing. Now here, you have backwards, fast forward, play, and stop. Those are your four main buttons that you're going to use to control what's happening in here. If you grab that circle and pull it all the way back, you'll start from the beginning. So if you press play, it'll play this track, sound and all. That's your file. And you can add to that file where this red line is will be where you can add your next piece of information. So let's say you wanted to take this one. You can add the plus sign and it'll drop it in the track. Bang. So it'll go from here directly into your next file. Now, once you've got everything that you want down here, everything that you want to deal with down here, let's throw another one in there. Just me goofing around. Now you've got some options. You see that this one is highlighted. It's got a white line around the bar. If you touch that one, it's highlighted with a white line around the bar. Or you can touch this one, and again, it's highlighted. Whichever one is highlighted is the one that you can affect over here. Let's start off with something easy. Right here, this bar, you can pinch and hold that, is your volume bar. You can raise that up and down. You can get rid of your volume completely, or you can make it as loud as the file will allow. You can also add words to this. So let's like say you wanted to come to this file. Right here, you have quick text. <clears throat> if you click that, it'll tell you that you can make a regular standard click, quick text, which will drop right there. And you can see it here inside of your viewfinder. 
You can grab that and make it bigger, place it wherever you want it to be. Then the cool thing, you can come over here to titles and see it says text here, text here. If you click behind that, you can delete that and turn it into anything you want it to be. Like test video. Now once you've got that there, let's make it a little bigger so you can see what we've got going on. You can, you've got three options. You can use this one and change the font. There's a lot of options in here. Then you can go to this one and change the size. Or you can go to this option and change the color of the font. If you don't exactly see what you're looking for, you can also go to some ready-made colors. Like this one, this one, just picking some random ones. That one. Say you look at one and you're like, oh man, this is exactly what I want. You can get that. And then you can put it wherever you want it to show up. Another cool thing. Once you've got your font and you've got your color, you've got your size, you can go over to animation. And this is how it will appear on your screen. So your video will play, and then there's your words. You can also make them appear by grabbing the end of the title for a longer or shorter period, depending on what you need. So once again, you're going to go over to your folder. You can click this. It'll give you access to your computer files and your external hard drive. Click what you would like to put in here to work with. And then hit the plus sign. And you can drop them into the bar. And once you've got it in there, You can pull this arrow back and forth and scrub through it and see what you've got. Also, if you decide, hey man, wow, this video is just a little bit too long. Go to where you would like it to end. Hey, thumbs up. Click the scissors exactly where you want it to be. And now you see that this part is highlighted. You can move it, or you can full-on delete it with the delete button, the trash can. Bang, and it's gone. Now let's say you deleted that. Oops, let's get rid of that. Let's say you deleted it, and that was an accident. You did not want to delete that. You can go back to this arrow, the undo arrow. Click that, and it brings it back. And you just slide it right back over there. This thing keeps showing up. Let's get rid of that. And now it's back. And that is the beginning of how you would start editing on Filmora. I hope this helps.